Hi everyone, this is Sarah and I'm so excited to teach you an awesome lesson from Faith Weaver Now curriculum. Today's Bible passage comes from the book of Acts. In Acts, the Bible tells us that God created heaven and earth. That means God created everything in the heavens and on the earth too. We're going to find out more, but first, make sure you have all the supplies you'll need. A Bible, paper, markers, and tape. Pause me while you get those supplies. The Bible tells us about a man named Paul who followed Jesus. When Paul taught in a town called Athens, he saw a sign on a temple that said, to an unknown God. Paul taught the people about the one and only true God so they know our real God. Let's put on a play to show what Paul taught people in Athens. Paul told them about Jesus, and he taught them that God created heaven and earth, and he made everything on heaven and earth. Let's act that out. For this scene, we'll take turns jumping and say heaven or earth when you jump, switching between the words. Ready? I'll act with you. Heaven, earth, heaven, earth, heaven, earth. It's fun, huh? Great acting. Now, let's finish the scene by shouting, God created heaven and earth, and waving our hands in the air. Ready? God created heaven and earth. And cut. We've just finished the first part of our play. Now, let's find out more things that Paul taught the people. Paul taught that God gives all people life and breath. We are all God's children. For this scene, everyone will stand one at a time and say their names. Next, everyone will put their arms around one another's shoulders and say together, we are all God's children. Pause me while you act that out. End of part two. Excellent work. Wow, isn't God an awesome creator? Can you believe that he created us and that we're all his children? And you know what? There are still more things Paul taught the people. Next, Paul taught God gives everything life and breath. Everyone will pretend to be anything that's living. For example, you could put your hands together and move them like a fish swimming through the water, or crawl on all fours and oink like a pig. I'll act with you. I can be a bird. I could be an elephant. What are you acting like? And cut. What a great scene for our play. God created everything that has life. One more thing that Paul taught is that we say we're sorry for the bad things we've done. For our last scene, each person will kneel one at a time, fold their hands, bow their heads, and say, I'm sorry just like this. I am sorry. Then each person will stand one at a time, raise both hands high and say, thanks for Jesus. Pause me while you do that. Because of Jesus, we'll live forever. Let's thank Jesus. Say, thanks for Jesus with me on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Thanks for Jesus. Our play is finished. You all did such a great job in our play about what Paul taught the people in Athens. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. Great job. Now, Paul taught the people in Athens all about God. He taught them that God is the creator of everything in the world. Let's draw some of the things that God created. Pause me while you draw your favorite things God created. Paul wanted the people in Athens to know about God so that they could believe in him and in Jesus. Paul wanted them to live forever with Jesus in heaven. Let's talk about this story with our families. I have two questions for you. So pause me after each one and discuss it. 
tell about your favorite thing God created. How can you be like Paul this week and celebrate how God created heaven and earth? Wasn't it fun being in a play about what Paul taught the people in Athens? Paul wanted others to know that God created heaven and earth. Let's tell everyone about our God who loves us so much. We learned when Paul was in Athens, he told the people that God made the whole world. He told them that God sent Jesus to earth. Jesus died and then came back to life. And Paul told them that if they believed in Jesus, they could live forever with God in heaven. Let's practice what we would say about Jesus. Everyone will need a piece of paper and markers. You'll write words to describe God near the center, top part of the paper. Examples of words are creator, powerful, loving, died for us, forgives, or friend. If you don't know how to write, no problem. You can draw a picture, such as a heart for God's love, a cross, or a globe, because God is the creator of the world. I'll work along with you, but if you need extra time, just pause me. Oh, I wish I could see what you wrote or drew, but even though I can't, you'll get a chance to share it. I'll show you what I mean. Here's what I wrote about God. That he's powerful, strong, caring, amazing, and mighty. And I also drew a cross. Now it's your turn. Pause me and practice telling your family about God using what you wrote or drew. Paul told everyone he could about God, and we can too. We can tell others about God every day, no matter where we are. We can start by telling others that God created heaven and earth. Now, let's tape our papers into megaphones. A megaphone makes whatever you say sound a little louder. That way, more people can hear you. And since we want everyone to hear about God, we're going to make our own megaphones. So what you're going to do is you're going to roll it up. One side's going to be narrow and one side's going to be wide. You want your words to be on the wide end. And you're going to use your tape to tape it nice and secure. Just like that. Awesome megaphones. You can use these to shout the good news that God created heaven and earth. Now, I have three more questions for you. So pause me after each one and discuss it. What were some of the words on your megaphone that you think your friends would like about God and why? What sometimes makes us not want to share with others about God? What are ways we can overcome our fears about sharing God with others? You can keep your megaphone as a reminder that you can share about God because He is wonderful. You don't have to shout at people, but you don't have to be afraid either because God created heaven and earth, and that means God created you. Just as He did for Paul, God has given you the creative skills you need to share Jesus in your own way. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a great time sharing the good news about God.